Eddie, being champ champ is all the rage these days, but you're actually on the doorstep of a club where it would be just you, the Triple Crown. So you have been UFC champ, you've been Bellator champ, and now if you beat Yuri on April 7th, you are right there for a title shot in one championship. So if you can complete the Triple Crown, what does that make you? What's your legacy then? I mean, I, I think in my eyes, I'll be the greatest lightweight that ever lived. I don't – to it's okay. It's fine to be great for five years, and it's even, it's even good to be great for ten years. But for two decades, to continue to fight champions all over the world, I'm not staying in one place. I'm not staying in one promotion. I'm going to all parts of the world fighting every champion from every major promotion and becoming that champion on that, on that platform. Um, no one has done it. No one will ever do it. Um, you have to be as crazy as I am. But um, I love this sport, and uh, it's one fight at a time. It's, it's, it's one fight at a time, and that's how I've done it. And uh, as many belts as I collect and as many champions as I defeat it, the, um, I just think it won't be – it'll be argued, but I'll just tell people, check the scoreboard. You know what I mean? Go – I don't want to argue with you. Check the scoreboard. That's all. Just let's – Let's accumulate the data and check the scoreboard. And then we'll talk about who's the greatest lightweight that ever lived. Um, you know, I have this shelf right here is empty. And that's for the one championship belt. And there's, there's plenty of other ones all around to, um, to fill up. But that one right there is empty. And I don't like empty shelves. Eddie, I got to ask you about Khabib. Because you know people are going to say that Khabib, 29-0, never lost is the greatest lightweight of all time. So what would you say to that? How do you respond? I, I just, fan, I mean, the thing is, when I think, when I think about um, the goat, GOAT status and that stuff, uh, for me, more than anything, it has to do with length of time. Like, it's, like I said, it's, it's good to be great for five years, 10 years, and, and do it and be great like that, to have that emotion and energy and excitement and that length of time, that's good. But do it two decades, yeah. you know, do it, do it when you don't feel the same, when you're not excited, you know, step inside the ring with a champion or an undefeated young rookie when you don't feel the same about the sport, when the butterflies aren't there, but you're for, but you know, this is my job and what I'm supposed to do. I've done that. I've been, my, my relationship with fighting has been ups and downs all throughout my career, yeah. but I've done it. Um, I've had them feelings inside and I kept going void it, void it of my feelings. I just kept going, kept winning championships. Um, at the end of my career, regardless of record, regardless of whatever, you're going to see the list of champions that I fought back to back to back yeah. to back for two decades. And it won't be argued like someone could argue, it, but they'd be a fool to argue it. 